Are you guys okay? Yeah, you sure you know where to go? Yep. Witches, witches. So we have witches. Where shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the holy blood is done, when the battle's lost, that will be ere the sun is done. Where the place? Upon the heath. There to meet with Macbeth. I come, Griff. Pad of cross. Fair is foul and foul is fair. Hover through the fog and fill the air. Ahem. Where a house thou art been, sister? Killing <laughs> flying. Sister, where thou? <laughs> Sailor's wife had chestnuts in her lap and munched and munched and munched. Give me, quoth I, aren't thy the witch the rump fed Ryan cries? Her husband's to Aleppo, gone, master of the tiger. But in a sieve, I'll hither sail, end like a rat without a tail. I'll do. I'll do, I'll do. I'll give thee a win. <laughs> Thou art kind. And I another. I myself have all the other. And the very ports they blow, all the quarters that they know. I, the shipman's card, I will drain him dry as hay. Sleep shall neither night nor day hang upon his penthouse lid. He shall live a man forbid. Weary nights, nine times nine, shall he dwindle, peak and pine. Through his bark cannot be lost, yet it shall be tempest tossed. Look what I have. Show me, show me. Yes, here I have a pilot's thumb, wrecked as homeward he did come. A drum, a drum, Macbeth shall come. The weird sisters, sisters, hand in hand, hand posters of, of the, the sea and land, land. thus do go about, about, thrice to thine and thrice to mine, and thrice again to make up nine. Peace, the charms wound up. <laughs> Oh, hail Macbeth, thou shalt be king hereafter. <laughs> Good sir, where do you start? And seems to few things that he saw so bad. In the name of Jews, are you fantastical or that misery which offers me flesh? My noble heart, your great wish, freedom, grace, and resurrection of noble heaven and hope. For your hope. That seems that is what. So may you speak not. If you can look into the seas of time and say which dream will grow and which will not. Speak then to me. Never bear nor fear your fevers nor your hands. Hail! 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 Lesser than Macbeth and greater. Not so happy yet much happier. Thou shalt get kings, thou shalt be none, so all hail Macbeth and Banquo. <laughs> Banquo and Macbeth, all hail. Say, you imperfect speakers, 
tell me more. By seeing your stance, I know I am thing of famous. But how a quarter, a thing of quarter lips, a proud spirit, gentlemen. And to be king, stands not waiting in the first of belief, no more than to be quarter. Say from whence you heard a strange Italian. Or why, upon this practice, peace you stop away in such prophetic breathing? Speak, I charge you. Yours as others, as the wood. And these are often, these are the winds. And you did it. And what seemed popular now to the press in the way? What did it have seen? Were such things here as we to speak about? Mm -hmm. All that we attend on the instant road that takes the reason to come. Your children shall be kings. You shall be kings. And they will fall What do you not say? The self sent in a word. Who's there? You may shout in there. News of their success. We are sent to give thee from our real master's death. But pay this. Can the devil speak true? Then you will call him. Why do you dress me in borrowed robes? He was a big mistake, an under heavy judgment greater than life, which he deserves to lose. She think how he just confessed the world has overthrown him. The damned and they are quartered. The greatest is behind. Thank you, Miss King. Do you not hope your children to be kings when those that give the thing of quarter to me promise no less to them? That just a by getting candle your own sort of crop, besides the sin of puzzle. But it is bad. And of times, the windows to our home, the instruments of darkness tell us truths. Windows with all its travels, to betray us in biggest consequence. Puzzles a word I breathe. Two truths are told as happy prologues to the swelling act of the imperial thing. I thank you. This supernatural solicitude cannot be ill, cannot be good. If ill, what has it given me the earnest of success commencing your troops? I am thing of quarter. If good, why do I yield to that suggestion? This horrid image does not fix my hair and make my seated heart not get the race again the use of nature. Present fears are less than horrible imaginings. My thought is murder yet is but. Fantastical shakes so my single state of man that function is water in his mind, and nothing is but what is not. Look how our partners wrap. If chance will have me king, why can't they call me without my stuff? New honors come upon him, like Austrian garments sleep not to their mouths, but with the air of use. Come what come may, time and the hour run through the purpose day. Worthy Macbeth, we stay upon your leisure. Give me your face. Now bring us rot with this forgotten. And gentlemen, your pains are registered where every day I turn the leaf to read them. Let us toward the king. Think about what has chance, and at more time the interim have waited. Let us speak how free us each to other. Very good. Till then, enough. Come with the way. Okay, I guess we're going to switch. You want to try the light? <laughs> Just for more theatrical. And shall we sit here again in some dark lighting or in rain when the howl is about the sound or the battle is lost the wall? Where will be in the state of sound? Where are the plays? Upon the heat. Care to meet with Macbeth? I come, Lord Marquis. Had a cost. And now, the bed is foul and foul is fair. 
hover through the fog and fill the air. <laughs> we have a star thing, sister. Sister, read that. A sailor's wife had chestnuts in her lap and munch and munch and munch. His name called that. A right thing which around the rowing fights, her husband to a leprechaun master of the tiger. But in the sea and the field cell, and like rats without the tail, I will do, I will do, I will do. I'll give thee a wish. That's kind. And I another. And myself or the other. And the very ports of blow, or the quarters that they know in the shinman's cart. I will drain him dry as hay, sleep shall neither night nor day. Pen upon his penthouse lid, he shall neither none forbid. Where is nice nine times nine, shall he dwindle, he can pine. Though his bar cannot be lost, yet it shall be tempest tossed. Look what I have. Show me, show me. Here I have a pile of stone, right as homeward he did come. A drum, a drum, back, back, just count. The red sisters, hand in hand, posters of the sea and land. Let us go about, about, flies to mine, and flies to mine, and then flies again to make up nine. Is the charm swallowed up. So foul and fair a day I have not seen. How far is it called to forest? What are these, so withered and so wild in their, in their attire, that look not like the inhabitants of earth, and yet are not? Live you, or are you aught to the man many questions? You seem to understand me, but each at once her chappy finger laying upon her skinny lips. Speak if you can. What are you? All hell, Macbeth, hell to thee, son of Ramis. All hell, Macbeth, hell to thee, son of Cador. All hell, Macbeth, thou shalt be king hereafter. Good sir, why do you start and seem to fear things that, so set, that sound so fair? I, the name of truth. Are you fantastical, or is that indeed your art worthy really show? My noble partner, you agree with present grace and great prediction of noble having and royal hope, that he seems wrapped withal. To me, you speak not. If you can look me into the seeds of time and say which grain will grow and which will not, speak then to me, who neither beg nor fear your favors nor your hate. Hell, hell, hell! Lesser than Macbeth and greater, not so happy, but yet much happier. Thou shalt be a king, though not be known. So all hail, Macbeth and Banco. Banco and Macbeth, all hail. Stay, you imperfect speakers, tell me more. By Sinal's death, I know I am Thane of Glamis, but how of Cawdor? The Thane of Cawdor lives, a prosperous gentleman, and to be king stands not within the prospect of belief, no more than to be Cawdor. Say from whence you owe this strange intelligence, or why upon this blasted heath you stop our way with such prophetic greeting. Speak, I charge you. <laughs> the earth hath bubbles, as the water hath, and these are them, whither are they vanished? Into the air, and what seemed corporal melted as breath into the wind, would they had stayed. Were such things here as we just speak about, or have we eaten on the insane route that takes the reason prisoners? Your children shall be kings. You shall be king. And Thane of Cawdor too, when did not so? To the selfsame tune and words, who's here? The king hath happily received Macbeth the news of thy success. We are sent to give thee from our royal master thanks. And for an earnest of a greater honor, he made me from him call thee Thane of Cawdor, in which addition hail most worthy Thane for it is thine. What? Can the devil speak true? The Thane of Cawdor lives, why do you dress me in borrowed robes? Who is Thane lives yet, but under heavy judgment bears that life which he deserves to lose. Treason's capital, confessed and proved, have overthrown him. Glamis and Thane of Cawdor, the greatest is behind. Thanks for your pains. Do, not, do you not hope your children shall be kings, when those that gave the king of uh, Thane of Cawdor to me promised no less to them? That trusted home might yet enkindle you to the crown. Besides the thing of Cotter, it is strange, and oftentimes to win us to our harm, the instruments of darkness tell us truths. 
Win us with honest trifles to be traced and deepest consequence. Cousins, a word, I pray you. Two truths are told as happy prologues to the swelling act. Of the imperial theme, I thank you, gentlemen. This supernatural soliciting cannot be ill, cannot be good. If ill, why hath it given me earnest of success, commencing in a truth? I am Thane of Cawdor. If good, why do I yield to that suggestion whose horrid image doth unfix my hair and make my seated heart knock at my ribs against the use of nature? Present fears are less than horrible imaginings. My thought, whose murder yet is but fantastical, shapes so my single state of man that function is smothered in surmise, and nothing is but what is not. Monk our partners wrapped. If chance will have my king, me king, why chance may crown me without my stir? You honors come upon him like our stranger garment, lead not to their mold, but with their aid of use. Come what come may, time and the hour runs through the roughest day. Worthy Macbeth, we stay upon your leisure. Give me your favor, my dull brain was wrought with things forgotten. Kind gentlemen, your pains are registered where every day I turn, leave to read them. Let us toward the king. Think upon what hath chanced, and at more time, the interim having waited, let us speak our free hearts each to each other. Very gladly. Till then enough, come friends. Um, how do you expect that uh, we're going to do Act 1, Scene 7? Yes, yes. Uh, I think we are ready, yes. Okay, so uh, hi. I've seen you play Macbeth before. Okay. All right, so we'll have Lady Macbeth over here to talk to Macbeth. Okay? So our, our Lady Macbeth is multiple. <clears throat> so... You're going to be addressing a whole group of Lady Macbeth, but only one, one speech. Go for it. Hold on, let's set it up. Get right up there, girls. <laughs> Who's starting? Who's starting? <laughs> The hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself. Hath it slept since, and wakes it now to look so green and pale, and what it did so freely? 
from this time, such I account thy love. Art, art thou a fear to be in the same in thine own act and valor? As thou art in desire, wouldst thou have that which thou esteems the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I, I dare not wait upon I would, would. like the poor cat in the adage? Free thee, peace. I dare do all that may become a man who dares do more is not. What beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me, when you durst do it then you were a man, and to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than man? Nor time nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given suck, and know how tender tis to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and, and dashed, dashed the brains out, had I so sworn as you have done to this. If we should fail, we, we fail. fail. But screw your courage to the sticking place, and, and will not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his day's hard journey, soundly invite him, his two chamberlains, will I with wine and wassail so convince that memory, the warder of the brain, shall be a fume, and the receipt of reason and limbeth only, when in swinish sleep their drenched natures lie as in a death. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? Bring forth many children only, for thy Dante's metal should compose nothing but milk. Will it not be received when we have marked with blood those sleepy two of his own chamber? and use their very beggars, that they have done it. Who dares receive it other, as we shall make our griefs and clamor war upon his death? I am settled, and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away, and mock the time with very show. For space must hide what the false heart does. <coughs> On both sides, I thought it was very good. Now we're going to go with the. Uh, we're going to have Macbeth and you do Lady Macbeth now, right? Okay, Macbeth. <laughs> He wants it to see the camera in the room. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, is that so? You know where you're going. You start, right? Yes. You got the long yes. Seat, so you, you, you guys go ahead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if it were done, when it is done, then Torvalo were done quickly. If the assassination could trammel out the consequence and catch with his surcease success. That but this blow might be the be all and the end all here, but here upon this bank and trill of time, <laughs> we jump the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here that we but teach bloody instructions, which being taught, return to play the inventor. This even handed justice commends the ingredients of our poison chalice to our own lips. He's here in double trust. First, as I am his kinsman and his subject, strong both against the deed. Then, as his host, who should against his murderer shut the door, not bear the knife myself. Besides, Stumpkin hath borne his faculty so meek, hath been so clear in his great office, that his virtues will plead like angels, trumpet tongued against the deed damnation of his taking off. And pity, like a naked newborn babe striding the blast, or heaven's cherubim, horsed upon the sightless couriers of the air, sh shall blow the horrid deed in every eye, that tears shall drown the wind. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent. 
but only vaulting ambition, which overleaps itself and falls on the other. Oh, how now? What news? He has almost stopped. Why have you left the chamber? Have you asked for me? No, you know he has. We will proceed no further in this business. Uh, he hath honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people, which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the whole trunk wherein you dress yourself? Have its lapses, and wakes it now to look so grim and pale as what it did so freely? From this time, such I count my love. Art thou feared be the same in thy own act and valor? as thou art in desire. Wouldst thou have that which thou esteems the ornament of life and live a coward in thy own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would, like the poor cat in the adage? Pretty peace. I dare do all that may become a man. He dares do more is none. What is then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than man. No time, no place did then a hair, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I have given suck and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have pumped my navel from his bornless gums and dash the brains out had I so sworn as you have done to this. If we should fail? We should fail, but screw your courage to the staking place and will not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his face hard journey some may invite him. His two chamberlains will I with one and vessel so convince that memory the water of the bridge shall be a few, and the receipt of reason a limb back only. When mean swine they sleep, their drenched natures lie as in a death. What cannot you and I form upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his bungy officers, who shall bear the guilt of our great quail? Bring forth men children only. For thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Will it not be received when we have marked with blood those sleepy two of his own chamber and used their very daggers that they have done it? Who dares receive it other as we shall make our griefs and hammer roll upon his death? I am settled and bend up each corporeal agent to this terrible feat. Away and mock the time with fairest show. False face must hide what the false heart doth know. Okay, so what are we doing now? What are we doing? What do you suggest we do now? Oh, uh, I Should we know. talk about the scene? The, the last group that we had here, they've actually got, um, they did the whole scene, they rehearsed the scene among themselves completely. But if you want to watch them try it out, we could do that. Or we could just pull back and start talking about the performances we just saw. Yes, I think we should be uh, talking about this performance. What do you think? Hmm? Are you YouTube? Oh, uh, two totally seven forty five. Good time. Good performance. He wants to do the performance. Oh. oh, we have another group uh, for Macbeth and Lady Macbeth. Okay. Okay. 
they, 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 they form they form a group. All right, I didn't catch the last thing you said. Those two are going to play with Macbeth and Lady Macbeth? We have another group. They are ready to perform the scene, uh, which just uh, about uh, Lady Macbeth and Macbeth. OK. Yeah, yeah, this one, I mean, so. We're going to watch them. I guess we're going to watch them, and then we're going to do ours, I hope. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do all, all of Act 1, Scene 7 by yourselves, no. right? No. You missed the whole paper. Oh, paper. Maybe. Oh, they need to uh, have your student uh, to play the scene together. OK. Yeah. Which scene? Which scene? I think they're going to do one seven themselves, and then we're going to do one seven ourselves. Okay. Right? You have to rehearse both ways. Well, yeah. You said they need us to. Uh, mm -hmm. You think they're only going to do like two seven? Yeah. It looks like they're waiting. We'll see. So we need to cooperate us. Okay. So you are you playing Lady Macbeth and you want us to play Macbeth? Uh, uh, they are Lady Macbeth. Okay, so we need Macbeth out here. Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, Remember, you're in the camera. Right. You want it over there to see yourself over there? Or over there? Okay. Well, I know that. <laughs> Let's. Why don't you? Why don't you move in a little bit? Right up. Ooh, lighting. You want to turn the fluorescent up? Yeah. Let's just. I want to get something that's like really in the frame. So you're gonna have to stay there. Can you do that? Okay. Yeah. I think you're all doing. Sorry, we're doing the same thing. Yeah. Okay. They've got another group of people who are playing. So, was it going to be just one like that? If it were done, when it is done, then Turbalo would done it quickly. If the assassination could tremble up the consequences, and catch with his surcease success that but this book might be the be all and the end all here, but here upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump a life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here that we but teach bloody instructions, which being taught, return to plague the inventor. This even handed justice commends the ingredients of our poison chalice to our own lips. He's here in double trust. First, as I am his kinsman and his subject, both strong against the deed. Then, as his host, who should against his murderer shut the door and not bear the knife myself. Besides, this Duncan hath borne his faculty so meek, hath been so clear in his great office, that his virtues will plead like angels, trumpet tongued against the deep damnation of his taking off. <laughs> and pity, like a naked newborn babe striding the blast, or heaven's cherubim, horsed upon the sightless couriers of the air, shall blow the horrid deed in every eye that tears shall drown the wind. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, but only vaulting ambition which or leaps itself and falls in the other. How now? What news? He has oh, just... Why have you left the chamber? Have you asked for me? No, you not have. We will proceed no further in, the, in this business. He hath honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people, which will be worn now in their newest gloss, 
not cast aside so soon. Would the whole junk will in you just yourself? Has it slept since? And which is now? You still bring and tear at what it is so freely. From this time, such I account thy law. Also, a field to be the same in thy own act and manner, as thou art in desire. Who so have that which thou esteems the ornament of life, and live a coward in thy own esteem, that in I dare not wait upon I would, like the poor cat in a bed. Edit. Peace. I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares do more is none. What beast was then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than man. No time, no place, did then adhere. And yet you would make those. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does and make you. I have given stock, and know how tender it is to love the baby that milks it. I will, while well, it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his formless gums and dashed the brains out. Had I so sworn as you have done to this? If we should fail? We fail. A screw courage to the second place and will not fail when Duncan is asleep, well to the rather shall be safe hard journey, suddenly white it his two chamberlains. With I with wine and vessels so convenient, the memory one of the brain shall be a film and a deep reason. A lean back only. When women sleep, their drenched nature lie as in a bed. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon the spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quail? Bring forth men children only, for thy undented metal should compose nothing but males. Will it not be received when we have marked with blood those sleepy two of his own chamber and use their very daggers that they have done it? Who dare receive it other, as we shall make a grief and tremor roar upon his death? I am settled, and bend up each corporeal agent to this terrible feat. Away and mock the time with the fairest show. False face must hide what the false heart doth know. You mute to the company of you guys want to try and put on your show? We've got about five to ten minutes left. Yes, five I, I ten minutes left. Um, we have a group of students who could, who rehearsed to do the whole thing, Act One, Scene Seven. But I don't know if you want to. We could pause to just talk about it, or we could let them go ahead and perform. <laughs> I think uh, we, we can end the session. I will. I will make comments on their performance. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I thought the performances on your side were really great, and it was nice to see uh, Macbeth playing Macbeth again. Xi Ying. Yeah. See you next week. All right. Take care. Bye. 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 See you guys. I'm <laughs> <laughs>